It's been me forever. I've been destroying my competition. I've put training companies out of business. I don't care who's around picking up the leftovers. We're owning the whole space. You know why? Because we know how to truly change people. How many of you have the courage, right? You're walking up to your customer and you're like, guys, I know the vehicle you came on, right? Obviously it wasn't here and I apologize for that, but I've got something even nicer. Oh my God, you guys are gonna win the lottery. Can everybody stand up on the showroom floor and give it up for these people that just won the lottery? Woo! And you guys are like, I'm not doing that. Cool. No, 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 it, it's okay. It, it's okay. Listen, I, I can't change, look, you're not me. I can only control me. My job is to manage me. You understand? Listen, I'm gonna make some real easy for you guys today. I'm gonna teach you guys closes all day long. But if you stay this guy, I can probably only increase your income by 20%, maybe 50. Okay, but I can't 20X your income. And that's my goal. My goal is I want guys making seven figures a year. I'm not playing. I don't give a what's possible. I have no limits. There, the only thing that's not possible is when you say it's not possible. Dude, think about it. Guys, I made 716 grand in 2014. That's not a lot of money. That's not a lot of money. That's nothing. Not now, because I'm better than I was back in 2014. I wipe my ass with that now. I want you to wipe your ass with that. No, listen to me. Listen to me. I came from nothing. I respect money. I'm grateful for it, but I'm skilled. And I'm trying to teach it to you guys. And I'm trying to teach you that the skill of getting this guy gone and becoming this person is something that a lot of you guys are going to get out of here and you're not going to make happen. And that right there, you're not, you're not listening to me. Look, I'm trying to create a movement of the world's most elite sales pros that can close anybody. By the way, lead teams, everything. The problem is, is businesses stay alive by closing transactions. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Hey, I want to stop the video real quick and show you. I just released my brand new book called The Book of Deadly Scripts. You want to know how to overcome any objection in the world? You want to know how to literally pick up the phone and every single time you do, create a hot end market buyer who wants to buy a vehicle? Do me a favor, shoot me a text right now, 918-210-0254. I don't have this book for sale on the website. If you'll shoot me a text, I'll send you the link so you can buy it. Let's crush it and kill it. This book will change your life. It just got released. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so if we can't close, I don't give a shit how good your company culture is. I don't care. If people are going across the road and buying at other stores, I'm not okay with that. If people are coming in and looking at your furniture and then they're going across the street and looking at other I'm not okay with that. I'm just not okay with it. Okay? And maybe it wasn't something we said, right? Maybe it's this that you're this person. Okay, he works at a dealership where there's two guys that are 50 years old and that make 800 grand a year, okay, each. You know what they are? They initiate, they're initiators. When they see you, you know the first thing they want you to know? They want you to know that you and them are gonna have a relationship. They want you to know that this isn't like any other transaction you've ever had in your life, okay? This is relational, not transactional. If you guys will live in a relational world instead of transactional, you will be deadly. Deadly. And guess what? It's the hardest thing to teach because the leaders don't believe in this. They're so busy. They have so much going on and they're counting their money in this good market right now. Their sales teams are suffering because they don't know how to do shit. And guess what? When this market shifts and it goes back to really having to be a great salesperson, you're screwed. I won't let you guys be screwed. Listen to me. I love you guys. Every single one of you. You know what I want more than anything? I want you to be in this room right now, and I want you to go home and make three or four or five times than you're, more than you're making now. You know why? Because you're gonna spend that same amount of time at work anyways. Listen, you're gonna give up the time. It's just whether you make the money or not. You're gonna give up the time, okay? I wanna show you something real quick. So, can you guys recreate and become this person? Yes or no? Okay, when I said get up and sing happy birthday, only a few of you got up and really sang happy birthday. A couple of you said the words, but you weren't really in it. That's the problem. You can't fake liking people. It's this guy's birthday. He was born on this day. You know, it was Phoenix's birthday. He was born on this day. You know, I mean, no, I mean, and Mikey, I mean, it's kind of a big deal, right? So what happens if I go saying happy birthday to somebody and it looks like I'm really not wanting them to have a good birthday? 
It's just, do you guys get it? How many times do you guys do things and just go through the motions because you're just numb going through life? You're thinking you're a word track away from winning? No, you're a whole complete body shift away from winning. Okay, listen to me, guys. I'm telling you the truth. Am I lying to you today? Okay, now listen to me. You're not going to have this person around you. I'm just telling you. If you want to learn, you want to be like this, you're going to have to come get and get in rooms like this all the time. Okay, where people tell you the truth and they don't lie to you. Hey, man, just keep working harder. Yeah? Okay. I'm not okay with that. I train my ass off every single day. I want to show you guys something real quick. I want everybody to pay attention to this. There's three people. You'll decide who you are. Mr. Number one, Mr. Number two, or Mr. Number three. And by the way, this, this is a training ground every day to be this person. You want to have deep conversations with everybody you're at? When I'm in the airplane, right? You know what I'm doing? I'm talking to everybody. You may say, dude, but I just want to be alone. I'm sorry. Listen, there's someone else out there that's getting sharper while you're getting duller and you want to be alone. And they're going to kick your ass. And that person, it's been me forever. I've been destroying my competition. I've put training companies out of business. I don't care who's around picking up the leftovers. We're owning the whole space. You know why? Because we know how to truly change people. Does that make sense? Okay, I can take you. I can change you. 100%. But you have to want to change. If you don't want to change, nothing's going to change. Nothing. Leaders have to change. You want your teams to change? You got to change. Okay? The hardest thing for a leader to do is change. You know why? Because they're already a top producer and they're on top. And the hardest thing as a top producer, if you're in this room, is that you think that you've made it. Do you remember when you first started your job, when you first started your company, when you first started or you just started the, the car business or selling or whatever you did? God, you were so hungry, man. When you were going to get that job, you are like, dude, I'm going to do whatever it takes, man. I'm going to outwork everybody here. I promise you, you'll see me your highest achiever. You are starving. Hey, but guess what? But keep your mouth shut. Freaking mouth. Hey, keep your but listen to me. Here's the goal is that you guys will know that that fire, okay, everybody's losing it. Everybody's losing it. How do you keep that fire? You stay training. You be around people that are constantly getting better. Dude, I don't drink. You may say, well, Andy, well, I don't want to give up drinking. I know. That's why you're going to get beat. I know, I know, I get it. Okay, Andy, but I do, I know, I get it, I get it. You're, I, look, look in the mirror. You wanna know how hard you are? Look in the mirror, look at yourself, naked. That's how hard you are, that's how disciplined you are. You can't, you can't stop your hand from feeding your face. Yeah, it's a hearing the truth. Cold hard truth sucks. You can start to shift your life and change and be disciplined. Shit, you can take over the world. You guys can all take over the world, all of you. All of you, every single one of you in here. But you're going to have to freaking not get defensive and you're going to have to go into the growth mode.